It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit for L It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today was a very stressful day. It's, supposed, it's always a good day, you know what I'm saying? We're above the ground, we're living and everything, you're truly blessed, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, I got taken out my character this morning. I had to go back to the old me, and I try not to do that with people, man. I try not to give them that type of wrath, man. But I finally got thirsty back, y'all. If y'all new to the channel and y'all don't know because y'all are new to the channel and existing people that have already been here on the channel, the Sneaker Dungeon family, you know what I'm saying? I got a 1984 Buick Regal. I've been working on it for like the last year. Uh, and this was probably one of the biggest things that I did was I took the engine out, transmission, everything under the hood. You know, I tried to get all that done. And I was supposed to get my exhaust put on, new AC under there and everything. The dude was supposed to fix my door and stuff at Amco. And... You know, I took that car in in June, y'all. The end of May going into June. I just got that Joker back November 3rd, man. And I'm like, gee, this morning this man called me. And he's like, he like, wake up. I'm like, I'm up. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And he's like, would you like to get your car back? What the hell do you mean do I want my car back? Bro, you done had my damn car since June. Like... I didn't know it was going to take no damn half a year for you to put my dog on engine and transmission in. So anyway, we talking. He said, hey, you can come get the car. So when I got ready, you know, he had already given me a set price. He told me, hey, it's going to be around this price and it's not going to go above this price. So I'm like, all right, bet. Uh, I asked him before he got the phone, hey, what's the price? You know what I'm saying? How much is it? This man done jacked that jumped up a whole band. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> you done got the right one today, fella. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, bet. I hang up the phone. I call my mom. I'm like, Mom's Dukes, does this sound right? Mom's Dukes, like, nah. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm finna call this man back. She was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't call him back. She know how I get, man. They know how I get. So Pops was like, yo, just call him on the three way with me, man. Let you don't need to talk, cause I already know. I already know how this go. This gonna go real south real quick with you. So I was like, I right, bet. Now, mind you, I've been checking in, trying to get this whip back. You know what I'm saying? All the time, man. At one point, I was putting clips and videos to show you guys the progress, but then it got to the point where I was just fed up with, it, and I was like, yo, when I get it back, bro, I get it back. It's not even no point on tracking it. This is taking too long, and. Uh, I get on the phone with bruh, and this man like literally said, now this is Amco. If y'all know what Amco is and everything, it's uh they specialize in like transmissions and all type of stuff, like working on cars and stuff like that. Car shop. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I put it. So I go to Am I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm chopping it up with him, bruh. And I'm like, bruh, you didn't finish the job, bruh. Like, first off, you're trying to add a whole band. You didn't finish the job. You didn't hook up my exhaust the way you said you were. You in you didn't install the AC all the way. You put the uh, AC compressor and all that stuff in there. But you never did finish, like, hooking the hoses up and stuff. I got to take it somewhere else to get that done. And then I was like, and then you told me you was going to fix my door. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's a plus that you said he was going to fix it. In the middle of me saying that, he goes, well, we couldn't fix the door. So now you didn't fix none of them things right there. You know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be a one-stop shop, and you gave me a price. Nah, bruh. Hey, Lord, forgive me. I had to go off on him, bro. I gave this man the business, like, to the point where everybody's telling me, like, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Pop's telling me, yo, chill, chill, chill. Yeah, I cussed him out, bro, and I, I, get, I, I, let that, I let that man know what time it was, really, really out of my character, because I try not to be like that, I'm a humble type of dude, man, but it only take that quick to get me mad, you know what I'm saying, like, and it's over, but, you know what I'm saying, I did apologize to the dude, but y'all, I did get thirsty back, you know what I'm saying, shout out to my bro twin, you know what I'm saying, we was chopping it up, trying to calm it down, and John, I was like, bro, 
it's just crazy, man. But on to the excitement, y'all. The most hyped up Air Jordan Retro 1 this year. I had to vent and let y'all know I did get thirsty back, so be on the lookout. I'm going to be showing you guys the engine and everything. I ended up having to take it somewhere else today as soon as I got it because I had to get the car inspected and I had to get the exhaust put on, which that didn't go the way that I planned, but hey, it's on. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but y'all know what time it is, man. We got this unboxing. Yes, Lord. I just talked y'all's head off. I had to vent on that, man, but I did get thirsty back finally. So now the next things to do, which I will be talking about that in the video, I got to get her painted, got to do a couple little things, but y'all already know, man, the most hyped up Air Jordan Retro 1 of 2020, y'all. Probably has one of the craziest resale values. Let's get this box out of the way. I have not yet seen this shoe. I was really hoping to double up on this one because I love Jordan 1s, especially I try to jump, I double up on Jordan 1s. But right now, still might have hope, fingers crossed. Maybe two stores might have got them, should I say. But all the stores didn't get them. And where I put in my raffles at, like Foot Locker, they didn't get them. Um, Champs, they didn't get them. These are the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Sale Black Dark Mochas. $170 for the suggested retail. I got these things for under retail y'all already know man them steals and deals as y'all see i hit on the nike app on sneakers so i was able to get these things for 150 dollars with my discount and then i paid for the two-day shipping but y'all already know man it ain't right if i don't do it Woo! yes lord ain't nothing like that air jordan one smell y'all and these things have officially been smell test approved by your border retro whiz kid Man, let's get these things up out of the box. Yes, Lord, man. So, this is probably the most hype Air Jordan 1 of 2020, man. Could it be because it resembles the Travis Scott? Exactly. That's how I feel. I feel like if it didn't resemble the Travis Scott, would it really have been this hype? But, man, just checking the shoe out, my first impressions on this, man. See what this thing looking like, man. They they dope, man. They fire. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I love ones. Okay, so you do have like a sale lace in there. I ain't really watched too many videos on these. Toe box is nice, man. Toe box is nice. It's a different type of toe box too, y'all. I got that crinkly toe box on these things, man. Y'all can see that joint right there. It's, it's crinkly. It's nice. You know, it's different. It's not like your, it's not your normal type of toe box, I feel like. I don't know. Mine just look a little different, man. It's Nike, what's up, man? But y'all can see it, man. It's it's, it's wrinkled up, man. Y'all see it, man. But, yes, I was expecting way different quality on these. I don't know why. But, you know, I say my actual panels on the inner and outer panels of these, it's just flat, man. It's nothing crazy. No crazy leather material or nothing like that. The toe box is different, though. And then, but then you also know that's quality control. Straight little suede on these things, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. Should I do a full detailed review, even though I am like way late because these came out on Saturday? It's kind of hard sometimes with YouTube to do a video on a sneaker that already came out. But yeah, man, this is pretty, pretty straight, man. I say the toe box. The toe box is what's getting me, man. I don't know why, but I feel like I ain't. The toe box is really different compared to the other Jordan 1s that I've uh, got this year as far as the toe box. It just feel different. It's like my toe box doesn't match up with the side panels, I feel like. But it is what it is. So Jordan 1, y'all already know how quality control can be. But I think it's a straight sneaker, man. Of course, a lot of people calling these the poor man Travis Scott's. I beg to differ. I would almost go as far to say a lot of people might prefer these a little bit better over the Travis Scott just because it has that classic black toe, but it has the black toe effect with the black and the mud guard and everything in the front because this is actually a sale. But very dope sneaker. If you guys would like me to do a full detail review on these or just by any means, just do the on feet, man. I'll do the on feet for you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys picked these up. Did they drop in your area? Because they didn't seem to, like I said, they didn't come out everywhere here. We might have had two stores that get them. Everybody else, man, they ain't get them yet. So still crossing my fingers that I can get a double up of these, man, because that's what I like to do. Want to rock, want to stop. That's how I love to do it when it comes to them Jordans, especially with the retro ones. Favorite silhouette. When we hit 11K, Air Jordan Retro 1 video coming with the whole collection. Over 100 pairs. Y'all already know how we rock, man. Stay tuned to the channel. I will be giving you guys a nice look at Thirsty, the new engine and everything. Tell you guys a little bit of some of the upgrades I'm going to be doing to the vehicle as well. But stay tuned, man. I appreciate you guys rocking out with me. Lord, forgive me.
please forgive me because, hey, gave that man, show that man really where I'm from, man. I let him know how the north side folks move, man. We don't, we don't, yeah, bro. We don't play like that, bro. You're not playing my bread either, G. Mm -mm. Yeah, that really pissed me off today, y'all. But it's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, man. Stay tuned to the channel. Peace, love, in Laguna Beach. And we out this thing. Jenny! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never gon' step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I got a lace up these black cement threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever.